We use vehicles for a number of things. Number one, we use it to scout roads. So if you think about going into an area where somebody's potentially lost or injured, we need to get to them. So we use vehicles to scout out, check out an area. We use it to transport, to take searchers into the field as far as we can go, carry in uh, equipment to collect injured subjects and bring them out of the field, and a whole number of different things. And so finding something that kind of has this kind of military pedigree, and being able to build it up to do those things, it does it extremely well. The first six or seven years, you know, I used a four-door Jeep Wrangler. I wanted more capacity, and so late-night YouTube sessions and kind of wandering around, I bumped into the Pins Gallery, started reading about them, and I was blown away. They're a military vehicle, so they're sturdy, they're overbuilt, they're simple. They're really designed to be built and paired by 19-year-old Swiss boys in the field with a couple of tools. A lot of technology up high. As you start to move your way down, a lot of radios for constantly communicating with people. There's a lot of different mapping capabilities inside of it, a couple different GPS and mapping programs. There's uh, headsets, so while I'm moving, I can actually continue to use all those radios and things hands-free. Lighting inside, so I can be able to see to get to my gear and light it up for subjects when they're in. Technology really has helped us to change the way that we do search. Solar is actually a really incredible addition to the Fins Guard. It's something that has really changed how I am able to do the roles that I do. And when the field teams get too far from command and they can no longer reach them, we have to go insert ourselves in between. I might be sitting for six or eight hours running all my radios, lights, heating, and mapping programs, taking notes, all that stuff. So having the solar power be able to keep my batteries topped off, make sure I can get safely back home, really critical. Many missions can go multiple days. The longest search I've been on was eight days long. Having the peace of mind of knowing that the solar panels are keeping everything topped off and keeping all my batteries fully charged definitely takes one less thing to think about. For the Pinsgauer, since it's a military vehicle, it's 24 volts. So it's not a simple thing. If my batteries die, I can't just get a jump start. Somebody can't just roll up to my location and jump my batteries and I can roll again. Uh, it's a very complicated procedure. So being able to have the batteries self-maintaining because of solar power, again, just giving that peace of mind that I'm not gonna become part of the problem. I'm still maintaining and being part of the solution. My name is Brandon Powell. I'm a member of King County Search and Rescue.